sweet. It's working just as I had planned. This is like the old fashioned irrigation systems back before they were plumbing. These trenches are watering my watermelon. From here, I put in the water and it goes all the way down the hill. It's not going to be exactly the same for the tomatoes, but hopefully this cuts back on my timing for watering everything. I gotta water all this, all of Miss Elsie's, and all of mine. Oh my. I hope the well doesn't go dry. Alright, I've had it on for just a few minutes and the water has almost reached the bottom. So, once that hits the bottom, I'm gonna move it to the next trough. So by the time I walk back up there, it should be ready to move. These poor things. I was gonna try not to water these rows out here. These were my experiment beds, but I could not let these die. Especially when so many of them are actually doing pretty darn good, considering the drought. We can complain all day long about how we don't like weeds, but when it comes to protecting the soil from drying out, this lighter weed cover made these do much worse. They're more dried out. And the ones with a thicker weed cover are doing much better. <laughs> so I had to do this but to my new bean bed because the ducks that grew up realized that there were seeds in there and started looking for them. So, I watered it in really good and covered it up. That'll help keep the moisture in for them to germinate. And hopefully by then, I'll have figured out another way to keep the ducks out. We're gonna try a motion detector sprinkler and see if that works. Ducks kind of like water, so I don't know if it will, but it's worth a try. So yesterday when I was down here watering, I forgot to bring the scissors with me to harvest the okra. And we have lots of okra to harvest. So I'm gonna do that today and grab a few figs off of Miss Elsie's fig tree. They're just starting to ripen and I'll get just enough to make our roasted duck with. Not bad for a quick run in the garden. Got a ton of okra. One cucumber and squash that were getting too big on Miss Elsie's and some more corn smut from our corn. That's a mushroom, if you didn't know. And it's a delicacy, and I love it. It's like a corn-flavored mushroom. So while I was out here watering yesterday, it started to rain, so I couldn't take my phone back out. And I continued watering through the rain because I could tell it was just gonna be a short burst. And I can already tell that that made such a difference. These leaves have uncurled on the corn. They're looking brighter and bushier. Even the watermelon has perked up. Tomatoes still look a little droopy, so I probably need to come back through with another watering on them this week. It's hard, because I really didn't want this garden out here to be something that I spent time on. I didn't want to water, I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to plant it and forget it and see what Mother Nature brought us. But when I see those plants struggling, I can't help but bring them some water. So I probably will do that again when I water Miss Elsie's garden next. Keeping her garden nice and healthy as it's still got a lot of production left in it. Now I'm going to go up here to her orchard area and collect some figs. This is a giant, giant fig. She doesn't know what kind it is, but it's delicious. The fruit are pretty small this year. The first set of fruit got caught in that late freeze but it set out another fruit so I'm just gonna get enough for a little bit of fresh eating and to add to our roasted duck dinner all right be honest guys how many of you are thinking that I went out and got one of our ducks <laughs> not yet not yet I'm close though um, but what did happen is in the fall geez the birds are already pecking at these figs and damaging them. In the fall, 
we had a very weird accident with one of our Anconas where the gate of the door into one of our shelters smacked it in the head, like unintentionally. It got hit really hard in the head and it had neurological damage to the point where there was no like, there was nothing we could do. It had to be put out of its misery, but there was no injury to the body at all. So the meat was still very good. And of course we don't waste anything here. So I cleaned it up and put it in the freezer. And when I started talking about <laughs> eating those ducks, <laughs> because they're being naughty, I thought, oh, I'm gonna get out that duck. Even though it's not the same meat as a Muscovy. Muscovy meat's very different than other duck from what I've been told. I don't think I've had Muscovy meat since I was a kid, so I don't remember it. But uh, looking forward to doing a comparison. So I found a really cool recipe. I'm not following the recipe exactly, but um, it did have figs under the duck. So I'm gonna use some of our potatoes that we just harvested, some of these figs, and then some store-bought carrots and onions. And I'm gonna make a nice crispy skin duck. It's gonna be delicious. Uh, I hope it will be. Man, there's actually more ripe than I thought, but they're higher up. I'm gonna have to get the ladder when I wanna do a serious harvest. Ooh, wasp just hit me in the back. It didn't sting me. <sighs> One bad thing about harvesting figs is the figs are being harvested by everything else. Everything else loves the figs too. You know what, there's an awful lot of apples on the ground here. I know Miss Elsie said these weren't ready before she went out of town, but there's a lot that have dropped. Of course, the ones that are injured drop first, but these look, these feel like they could be ripe. Uh, I will leave those for Miss Elsie. Yesterday, I thought I discovered that her peach tree was ready to be harvested and I panicked a little bit because I thought she's not here. She's not going to be here in time. They're all going to drop. She's going to lose all her peaches and she hasn't had a peach harvest in several years because she's lost them to different reasons. And so I was about to pick all of her peaches, but I picked up the four on the ground and then I reached up and I felt two on the tree that felt ripe too. And I was like, oh goodness. But uh, that is when her neighbor on the other side of her showed up. Ooh, that one's got a bee in it. I don't want you. Oh, I'm sorry, bees. Um, and I talked to her about it and she was like, oh, well I can call her. And I was like, oh good, I don't have her number to where she's at. I only have her house number. So she got me her number and she called her and she confirmed that I could do whatever I felt like doing if I wanted to just leave them or if I wanted to cut them up and freeze them and dehydrate them or whatever I wanted to do, that I didn't have to do anything, but if I insisted, that was fine too. So I was about to go on a major, I think that's enough, a major marathon of cleaning up peaches. And then her neighbor said, well, I'm gonna grab a couple for the road. And she went over to the tree and she's like, none of these are soft. And I was like, that's weird. They were all soft. Oh, look at this, guys. Muscadines. I love having a neighbor that likes to grow fruit too. So anyway, the uh, fruit weren't all ripe. It was just a couple of insect damaged ones. So I left them to ripen further, but it won't be long now. And so blessed. And I'm so happy that I can share my fruits and vegetables with Miss Elsie and that she's nice enough to share ours and that we're both able to take care of each other's gardens. It's wonderful when you have a good community support around you because I tell you I've had some doozies of neighbors before and this is so nice so so nice well these snake gourd beans take a minute to show up but once they do they grow awful fast can anybody tell me when I'm supposed to harvest these 
Is it a certain length? A certain width? How long? Oh my gosh, that thing is big. And this one over here, I draped over the pole because I didn't want the ducks to get it. <laughs> While I've grown ground cherries before, they've never been a very productive crop for me. This is the first time I've gotten to them before the bugs. Yum. Nothing better than coming out to the garden and having some fresh ground cherries after dinner.